In March, we brought you the story of Cindy Moore, her daughter Lily, who has autism, and the struggles they face while trying to shop. When we last saw them, they were celebrating a small victory after Food City began ordering shopping carts just for special needs children and then putting them in each of their stores. But Cindy didn't stop there. Today, we met up with Cindy again to see the newest cart at the Pikeville Walmart Supercenter. Store manager Scott McPeak said once he heard about Cindy's story and the special cart called Caroline's Cart, the decision to try to get one was easy. I've actually seen the news story and seen that some other stores in the area was getting the cart. Uh, and I worked with Cindy and she actually gave me some information and actually partnered with our home office and our cart team and, and we ordered this cart and, and it took us about three weeks to get in. Cindy says as she continues to reach out to local stores about ordering the carts, she's finding out many store managers aren't even aware they exist. A lot of people don't know and that's what they tell me when they come and thank me. They're like, we didn't know that existed. Um, I just did research. After a bad shopping experience, I come home and sat down and did research and found this cart and went from there. The Caroline cart is much different than a normal cart and can actually accommodate someone up to 250 pounds, which means Lily can shop with her mother for years to come. She's right in front of me. My groceries are in the back. We come up front and check out. She's still right here where I can see her. She's at ease. I'm at ease. It's just so much better. Since we first aired the story about Lily and their shopping challenges, she has talked with dozens of families with similar needs, and she is continuing to reach out to additional local stores. I'm actually trying to work with other companies right now to get them in other stores, and I'm hoping that they work with me and we'll be able to see more around in Pike County. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.